Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RT Automation Learning. So today we are going to share with you a success story of uh, one of the candidate who got selected at Adobe company, which is a product based company, right? So they, uh, she has got selected as a software developer engineer. So I know many of you would be thinking that I am a software tester or I'm into a QA. So why should we see this video? So you should watch this video so that you get a fair idea about what kind of interview process is there, what kind of questions would be asked or what kind of preparation is to be done to get selected in the product based companies. Right. So this video, we will be covering the entire detailed interview experience for Adobe, which is a product based company. But before that, if you are watching this video for the very first time, then do like, share and subscribe our channel. Okay, so. So sharing my detailed interview experience at uh, Adobe at a, pro a product based company. So let's uh, look into the entire uh, interview process from her perspective. Right. So how many rounds did she had is uh, she had in the first round online test was there. Then on site interviews were there. Right. And in on site interviews, she had almost five rounds. Right. So totally you can expect six rounds and five rounds after online test. Right. Now, the very first round in the online test that she has got is uh, it was divided into two sections. One section is aptitude and the logical section. Right. In that I encountered 60 questions that were about problem solving skills. And the questions covered various areas, including quantitative, logical reasoning and verbal abilities. Section two was focused on coding two questions within 60 minutes. The questions involved string manipulation and tree based problem solving. So generally, if you go for software development or software testing position, the aptitude test online test is there in 60 to 70 percent of companies. It is generally taken except for some of the companies, they avoid taking aptitude rounds. But generally, these online tests are there. So be prepared for such online tests mentally, as well as, uh, you know, prepare yourself for all these kind of questions, because generally, the companies do have such kind of online test. Right. And then once you got selected for the online test, then you will be called for on site interviews. So in the on site interview, she had five rounds. Round one, the first round primarily really revolved around linked list prop based problems. And the second question was put up based on graphs, right? Difficulty level range from medium to hard. So, so the kind of questions which would be asked in, you know, such big product based companies would be medium to hard. You cannot expect simple, straightforward questions to be a part of such interviews, right? Additionally, multiple choice questions covering data structures and algorithms, time complexity, aptitude, and reasoning was also asked. In round two, we discussed about past projects in the detail with a particular focus on my fundamental knowledge of data structures and algorithms. I also tackled two medium level programming questions which involved implementing LRU cache and recursion. Right. So generally, you will get these kind of uh, very technical uh, topics like recursion, linked list, with, and, and you need to have a knowledge of data structures if you are applying for software developer position, right? for such big companies, then data structure questions are must. Data structure questions will be asked, right? So you have to be prepared for data structure questions. Third round presented me with two coding problems, one centered around binary search trees and the other on the dynamic program. Additionally, I encountered questions related to process scheduling in OS and fundamental concepts of DBMS, including one SQL query easy to medium so sql query so again database related questions are also asked so if even if you are going for manual testing positions but people do need the knowledge of database sql or oracle any one of the database you should be knowing it you should be able to write the sql queries you should be able to uh, you know get them show them the output on the basis of the question for example if they ask you that they need some particular data from this table, then you should be able to, you should be capable to write that particular query so that you are able to explain them. <clears throat> right. 
Then the round four was based on in-depth discussion of my patent, including detailed project related questions. I was asked to solve two puzzles, including the famous poison and rat puzzle. So in puzzle or in project related questions, if you are doing automation testing, then you will also be asked to write code. It depends on which programming language you have mentioned in the CV, either Java, Python, C sharp.net. So in that particular language, you will have to write the code, right? The final round aimed to assess my problem solving approach in a real time scenario. I was presented with an ad hoc problem that had multiple variations and I was required to provide algorithmic situations as well as produce prod ready code to implement it. So generally you will get some problem solving questions. So in Java also, when you will write one of the program for, for automation testing interview, if you will write one of the program, they will ask you, okay, which is the other approach, which is the other solution for the same problem, right? So those kind of things are asked in an interviews, right? And this is uh, not only related to the software development, if even if it's a software testing based of interview, similar kind of rounds you can expect, right? For example, if you're going for automation, so you will have dedicated round for programming, you will have dedicated round for coding, and then you will have to analyze the approach. You will have to come up with other solutions, right? So this was a short success story of uh, one of the candidate who had got selected in Adobe company, right? So if you also are getting selected in some of the companies, then please do share these success stories with us so that the people in the community, commu community can get motivated, right? The, right now, the many of in many of the companies, cost cutting is happening, layoffs are happening. So what is happening is uh, people need some kind of help. People need some kind of support of how to get job in such kind of companies. So the agenda, the intent behind creating the video was to help people who have got laid off or who are looking for the jobs, right? So uh, please go through this video. And uh, if you still have any doubts on what kind of interview rounds they can expect for software developer, for software engineer, then please put in the comment section of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.